Hey, Divapreneurs. Happy Monday. Let me make sure that we are good here. So I'm really excited, really, really excited because we're going to be talking about emails today, which I told you guys I would be coming back to do. Let me make sure you can hear me. All right, good. Awesome. All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about four ways that you can keep your email list engaged. This is something that people think about a lot um, when they start to grow their list is what am I going to send people? How am I going to get them to open? How am I going to get them to click? You know, um, after a while, most people suffer with dead lists. Okay, so most people suffer with having if they are growing a list, then they suffer with most of the people not buying, most of the people not opening, you know, um, and they struggle with knowing what to send their list. So that's what we're going to talk about today, okay? So for those of you who are new to the Divapreneurs chat box, welcome, welcome, welcome. I see that some of you have joined us today because you guys are ready for the email challenge and I'm super, super excited. We are so happy to have you. So my name is Niala Phillip. I'm the host of this group. I'm a marketing and income strategist and I help coaches and consultants captivate and cultivate a community that converts on autopilot online. So um, everything starts with growing an email list, okay? Everything starts with generating leads. It's the most important activity that you should be paying attention to in your business every single day. And if you're not, you're pretty much losing a lot of time. I know I lost a lot of time. So for years in being in network marketing, I was hearing people saying, you should be growing your list, you should be growing your list, but I never really paid attention to it. Um, and I have to tell you that when I started to grow my list right away, I was able to reap benefits from growing a list in so many ways. Um, let's just talk about one way. You know, some people, a lot of people struggle with increasing their engagement on social media. You know, they say, well, I create lead magnets, I do challenges, I do live streams, and I don't get nobody watching the live streams. Well, if you had an email list, then those are the type of things you would send to your email list to nurture your list, right? And that's how you'll get more eyes on what you have. So this whole thing always goes back to growing your list. When coaches sit with me and tell me that they're struggling with get, uh, signing consistent clients, I tell them, are you generating leads consistently? Because that's where I get clients, okay? So every so often, I put that call to action out there when I have openings on my calendar and people will book, you know, and then I get clients. That's how it works. So it all starts with being able to grow your list and that's the reason why I'm doing this challenge. Now, the challenge is all about you creating a five-day email course. So let me tell you why I decided to do that because I could have easily said, you know, we're going to do a five-day challenge. The first day, we're going to create a freebie. The second day, I'm going to, you know, show you the tools for you to set up. I could have done that, right? However, one of the reasons why I really admire, like I really love doing email courses is the fact that you get to kill so much birds in one stone okay so not only the email course it serves as a freebie okay so it serves as something that you can offer your audience in return for their email address it also serves as a way for you to nurture and cultivate and grow relationships with your audience and this is key okay this is key so there's so many benefits to creating an email course and that's why i decided to go this route when it comes to you guys growing your list all right so today, we're going to talk about four ways you can keep your email list engaged. This is for those of you who are growing a list already. Um, those of you who are on the replay, do me a favor as well um, as those of you who are live. If you are growing a list, I want you to put a one in the chat box because I really want to see where you guys are at. And if you have not started to grow a list yet, I want you to put a two. Okay, so one, if you're already growing the list, and two, if you're not, all right? Okay, so number one, the first way that you can keep your list extremely engaged really is by posting, um, I mean, by emailing them regularly, okay? So this is a mistake that a lot of new list builders make. Okay, so what they do is they start to grow their list, but then they don't know what to email their list. So they go, you know, 
uh, blank. <laughs> and here's the thing. People's attention span is just not there anymore. So if you are not in front of your people's face and you are not emailing them every single day, then guess what? They will easily forget about you. And the number one thing you don't want to happen when it comes to your email list is you never want someone to get an email and open it and be like, okay, who's this? right you don't want that you want them to always remember exactly why they came on your list why they wanted to be in a part of your community and what they were actually interested in getting from you right so you have to email them regularly okay now you will hear other coaches tell you don't email your list you know every day try to email them once a week okay or maybe twice a week you'll hear coaches tell you that i totally disagree so me personally i email my list every single day do i get unsubscribes absolutely but i don't get a lot i probably get about one or two every day sometimes i may get four or five if it's a really bad email for some people i guess um, but that's absolutely normal because what you want is you want a list filled of people who's paying attention to what you have to say. So remember when I first started, I said what happens with most people when they start to grow a list is they don't know what to send their list. So they go blank, right? And then when they go blank, their list don't remember why they ever joined right so they feel like okay i have dead leads they're not opening my my emails right well this is why you want to email them all the time i'm email my people every single day and guys if you are struggling with knowing what to email your list you are a ideal candidate for our email challenge okay remember it's starting on monday on Monday, I will be with you for five days. You'll be getting a lesson from me as well as a implementation workbook for five days straight next week, as well as we'll meet live every day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for your live lesson. And this is something you really want to be you want to be front and center live when it comes to this challenge. OK, so if you're someone that's struggling with what to email your list, you want to be in this challenge. The link is in the title okay so first one is make sure that you are emailing your list regularly I email my list every day and I can show you tons of people who respond to my emails they love getting my emails they 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 answer questions they reply to me they click right so it's all about that relationship that you build the reason why you hear a lot of coaches out there telling you well don't email your list every day is because those coaches don't necessarily know what to email their list. So they might be saying, well, you know, email value once or twice a week and then you can sell something. No, I actually sell to my list every single day in some type of way. And I don't have a problem with that. So I cannot wait to share with you guys those secrets at the email on the email challenge. All right. So, yeah. All right. Number two. Number one, to recap. Email your list regularly. Number two, make sure that you are providing value. So this one is key. This one is key. Some people, they have this misconception that their list is only to sell to. So because people signed on the list, I'm just going to continue to sell, you know, stuff to them and share with them what I'm providing. But no, you want to have the healthy mixture in one email. Okay, you want to have a healthy mixture in one email. And if you guys learn how to be more conversational um, in your emails, it actually comes, it comes off really easy to be able to go into your offers without feeling like you're being really salesy. Okay, but you want to make sure that you're providing value. So let's stick on that for a moment. OK, especially for those of you who, you know, you're hearing people say provide value, provide value, but you don't know what value is. OK, so as a coach, right, as a service professional, what you do is you solve problems, right? You solve problems for your ideal clients, right? So let's say you were a uh, health coach, for example, and you worked with, you, maybe you were a nutritionist and you worked with women helping them, you know, live healthier lives, eat better, all that good stuff. Um, value for you would pretty much be sharing with them what they should be doing to live a healthier life. A lot of times just sharing how you live a healthier life, it makes it so much easier to cultivate 
you know, relationships with the people on your email list. For example, this morning, I sent out an email. Now, this, I haven't emailed my list in over, I want to say since April 25th. I actually checked the date. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because I was in the middle of moving. Now, what I did is I did let my list know that I was moving. So, that's the first thing is I let them know that I was moving. These are my friends, okay? So, they know what's going on with me. I let them know I was moving. And they probably wouldn't hear from me for a little while. I also came live in the group and talked to you guys and told you guys I was moving. And you probably wouldn't see me for a little while. This is very important, all right? I like to teach through my example, right? So this is really important, being able to build those relationships and let people in on what's going on with you. That's what makes them start to fall in love with you and keep that list engaged with you, right? So then this morning, I sent out an email and I'm like, OMG, I'm so happy to talk to you guys. No, I didn't say you guys. I like to be personable. So I'm so happy to talk with you. I haven't spoke to you in so long. It's been so hard. And I gave them a little story about the move and all what I've been through through the move. And I'm happy that the internet is back up. And boom, guys, I'm doing a challenge in honor of my move. Click the link, join. It was so easy for me to do that. Why? Because I keep my list in the forefront every single day and I provide value even if it's me sharing a story okay I am always providing value which is a lesson just a lesson that takes them away from that email list knowing one thing more that they didn't know okay very important now number three and this one goes into the marketing so you guys know that I'm all about marketing um, and I love marketing in emails more than anything which is funny um, but yeah I love marketing and email in one of the things that I teach when it comes to marketing is when you are launching something, whether it's an event, a course, an offer, whatever it is, a book, right? When you're launching something, it is very important to tease your audience. The way that marketers, you know, bring more people, more eyes onto what they're providing is by building a buzz, Okay, building a buzz, right? People always want something that's exciting, exclusive. People always want something that they can't have. People always want something that other people have. It's just a natural thing. And that's what building a buzz and teasing your audience is all about. So number three is learn how to, you know, tease your audience regularly. So I'll give you an example. We'll use this challenge for, you know, for the example. A week before I went on my little hiatus to move, right? I shared with my, my audience that, you know, I'm thinking about doing something, I have something in the works, and I mentioned my Getting Guap on the Gram email course, which was the first email course I ever did four years ago, right? And um, I kind of just teased them, you know, on what kind of results the course was still bringing, for, bringing in the business now. Um, right now, the course still generates about 20 plus leads, and that's without really advertising, just really having it on the site. It still generates leads, right? So I was just kind of like teasing them about the email course and saying, well, you know, how would you feel if you wanted that? Would you want that type of email course? How would you feel if you had, you know, leads generating 20 plus on autopilot? How would you feel? And I just started kind of teasing the fact that, well, stay tuned because something is coming. All right, something is coming. So you would see marketers do that a lot online, which is really building that buzz around what they're about to do and getting people excited. And you really want to do that with your list as well. So when you know that you have an event happening, a launch happening, a webinar, maybe you're doing a live stream today, you know, email your list, build that buzz and let them know, guys, okay, I have some exciting news. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips. You want to be in the building. It's coming. Look out. And that's how you start to tease and build the buzz with your email subscribers. All right. Okay. So number four, and this one is actually another marketing tactic. Um, but I like to call this the more into the cultivating side of things. And that is number four is asking questions. All right, asking questions. And this one that a lot of people would not really automatically think that they can do this, but I love asking questions. I love giving the call to action to my list and telling them, hit reply. I have about 10 minutes and I'm gonna respond to you personally. I love asking them, you know, what are you struggling with? What can I help you with this week? Um, sometimes I will give a survey and I will give them a few topics and tell them what we're gonna talk about and, you know, can they just click that link and just choose one, all right? Um, uh, you know, I did something really clever 
And um, this is actually a really bonus. This is a bonus, bonus tip, guys. So those of you who are paying attention, write this down. Those of you who are on the replay, this is a bonus, okay? So when you start to grow your list, right, as you get into the thousands, what starts to happen is you want to separate people by interest, okay? And I may be going a little bit far, but stay with me. So you want to get to the point where you're separating your people by interest. Why? Because when you know what your people are interested in, you're able to better provide them what they need and you're able to give them better offers, right? So as you start to grow your list in the thousands and the two thousands, you start to feel like, OMG, I want to know, like for me it was, who's interested in Instagram marketing? You know, who's interested in growing their list? Who's interested in coaching? I started to get to the point where I wanted to know how can I segment this list so I can better provide value to them and sell to them what they want, all right? Um, so what I did, I came up with a really clever idea. And what I did at the end of last year is I had five webinars, like five trainings that I did last year, all on different topics. And I sent a mass email out to my entire list and I said, you know, these are the different topics that I know you guys have been struggling with. Go ahead for 48 hours. It's going to be open for you to watch any one of the trainings. And then I told my software, if anyone clicks this link, I want you to tag them. Let's use an example, interested in generating leads, okay? So one of my webinars was... Um, become marketable, right? And become marketable was all about teaching people how to market themselves online and start to grow their, li grow their list. And what I did is I said, if anyone clicks this link to watch become marketable, I want you to tag them interested in generating leads, okay? So that's what I did to kind of segment these thousands and thousands of people that I really wanted to know who's interested in what, right? So these are the type of things that we're going to talk about in the email challenge next week. One of the questions people ask me is, well, how do you segment, right? What software do you use? I'm hearing lead pages. I'm hearing MailChimp. I'm hearing ConvertKit, GetResponse, AWeber. There's so many. Well, those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering in our email challenge next week. Okay, guys? So if you know that you are someone that wants to start generating your leads, you want to stop leaving money on the table because you know that the money is in the list. You've heard it before and you want to get to the point where you now can go out on Facebook and say, I love having those thousand dollar days, right? I love being able to email my list and 10 people buy, right? If you want that, then you need to uh, register for the challenge and make sure that you invite a friend because challenges are always better when you have company. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so recap one more time before I go. Number one, make sure that you are emailing your people regularly. You need to stay in front of their face. You cannot be like a one hit a quitter. Hey, here's the freebie and buy. No, you have to send value. And for me, it's all about telling them, uh, you know, bringing them on a journey of my life. Okay, pretty much that's what I do. Bringing them on a journey of my life. If something is going on with my kids or something I'm working on in the business, I talk about it and then I find a way to bring it back to what I'm offering and what I'm, you know, sharing with them, the value that I'm giving them in that email, okay? But you have to email your people regularly, okay? Number two, provide value. Very important. Do not always sell, 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 all right? One of Gary V, one of my favorites, right? He always talks about the jab, 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 right hook. What is it? Jab, jab, right hook, right? And it's basically give, give, and then you receive. I like to use that Bible verse, you know, you give and then you receive, right? Well, that's what value is all about. When you, like, I'm sitting here right now and I'm spending 20 to 30 minutes with you sharing value, right? So if you are someone who does not know how to grow your list, you just got four ways that you can get started to keeping your list engaged. This is value, okay? And as you share value, what happens is you resonate with people. And when people are ready and when you make that call to action at the right time, that is how you start to get clients. It all starts with generating leads and making sure that you are emailing them regularly and providing value, okay? Number three was tease, build the buzz. So don't be boring, don't be boring, all right? Now, 
if you have a boring personality, then that's okay because you'll resonate with boring people. It's cool, <laughs> right? But you really, really want to tease people, build the buzz, be excited about what you share. You understand? I'm excited about what I do. I'm excited that I get to help people. I'm excited that all the time and the effort that I put into learning, I can now share it with someone else. And I'm also excited that what I do helps make a living for my family. I have been a full-time entrepreneur for eight years. And when people say, and I was a single mom, okay? So I've been married going on five years in August. All right, so before that, I was a single mom being an entrepreneur, right? So, guys, <laughs> you have to make sure that you are out there and you love what you do because when you love what you do, then other people will love it through you. You understand? You have to make what you do exciting, and that's what you have to do when you email your list. Don't just say, well, Good morning, guys. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Well, today we're going to talk about, no, you want to be conversational. You want to build excitement. You want to let people in on what's going on. We call that behind the scenes, all right? All right, and the last one is ask questions. So this is research, okay? In order to get answers, you have to ask the right questions, okay? And as a coach, we ask questions more than anything because a lot of times our clients already knows the answer and it's our job to pull it out of them by asking the right questions. Well, it's the same thing in your email list. If you want to get to know your people more and you want to provide better value, better service, right? Better offers and programs for them, then you have to ask the right questions. Get in the habit of asking your audience what's going on. The question doesn't always have to be about business either, guys. You know, sometimes you could just say, you know, give them a few tips and then at the end of the email say something like, you know, well, I did this this weekend with the kids. How about you hit reply and let me know what you did. This is how you start to start the conversation. My favorite, start the, com start the conversation. My favorite three word statement, start the conversation. Because in order to prospect and sell, you have to open your mouth and speak to people, right? So what better way to start the conversation with your email subscribers than asking the right question and getting them to reply and you reply back and start the conversation. All right, guys? So those were four ways to keep your list super engaged. Make sure you guys try them out and definitely tell me how it worked for you. And if you have not registered for our email challenge yet, definitely click the link above and register right away. Grab your spot, okay guys? So tomorrow I will be back again with some more tips for you and a surprise for you. So make sure that you guys stay locked in because I will be coming back to you tomorrow about 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all right? So make sure you guys stay locked in when I am here tomorrow, all right? All right, guys, have a wonderful night and I'll see you tomorrow.